One, two. Gatton sends it through the hole on the left side. A base hit. It'll score one. Platt held it third. An RBI single for Sam Gatton. And she brings home Sam Carver to make it one to one. Gatton sends this one to right center field. It's carrying well back towards the track. It'll drop onto the track. An RBI double for Sam Gatton as she strolls into second base standing up. Payoff pitch coming from Lucopolis. Claire Hanlon sends this one into center field. Coming in after it and not being able to get there is Curry. Looks like she jammed her arm in the process, but it's an RBI single for Claire Hanlon as it gets down, and it's now four to three. And an off-speed pitch from Weeman got her looking. The 0 and one sent out to left field. This one deep, this one is gone over the left field wall. A three-run shot off the bat of Caitlin Merling draws this game to within one. It's seven to six, Wesley. Two-two home. Got her looking. Payoff pitch coming from Mays. Carver right back up the middle of base knock. And this one is laced to left field, high and deep, and it's gone. A walk-off winner for Brittany Platt over the left field wall. And the Bobcats will take game two by the final score of eight to seven. Back on the Bobcat Sports Network with head coach Wes Landrum. And a one-to-one -one split today, coach, and we'll touch on, on game one quickly. It was a, a rough outing, a game where Allison Short, she did pitch well. She only gave up well, two. no unearned runs, yeah. no earned runs. Two unearned runs just didn't get the offense to back her up in game one. Yeah, we, I mean, I think we, we wasted a lot of opportunities, I think, offensively. I think we were hitting the ball hard, but uh, right at people sometimes and, and weren't able to execute. You know, I think, uh, I think she only gave up two hits in the game. And uh, when, when she gives up two hits in a game, I think that's <laughs> – we should, we should mm -hmm. uh, be winning those games. So, Game two, what a resilient bunch your team is in that second game. Your team goes down one nothing, They go down 4-1. to one, They go down 7-3, to three, and they still fight back. What does that resiliency tell you about your team? Um, you know, a lot. I think the game is never over, which is nice. Um, I would like that urgency a little bit earlier in the game <laughs> than in the sixth and seventh innings. Um, you, you know, I, I try not to panic. I hope that they don't panic, but I, th I think it's nice when they're a, a fighting ball club. Allie Weeman eventually ends up getting the win, comes in a great, great bit of relief for your team. She comes in in the fourth. She does give up three runs, but all again, unearned. <laughs> all unearned again. Great I mean, it, job from her out of the bullpen. Fantastic job. She came in and threw strikes. Um, you know, we gave up nine runs today all unearned. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I think if uh, – it's a matter of uh, us, us playing better defensively, but Allie did a fantastic job. She came in and did what we needed to do. That final at bat, Brittany Platt, she had herself an okay day. She struggled a little bit this year. You think an at bat like that can get somebody who was a first team All CAC player going? For sure. I think, uh, I think you know, hitting's uh, contagious and hitting's a feel good activity. So I think when you feel good, you, you certainly hit better. So. One more home game this weekend. Uh, we'll make it a doubleheader tomorrow as the Salisbury Seagulls come into town for senior day. What are your feelings heading into that matchup with Salisbury tomorrow afternoon? Uh, you know, we, if we make some simple plays, it's, it makes our lives a lot easier. I think that's what we're shooting for tomorrow. So.